And he knows he's carrying a proud country with him everywhere he goes. And it makes so much sense, Ross. It's surfer's paradise. Every surfer in the world yeah. has to get to Indonesia at some point in their life. As he's talking to Beach Marshal Ray Shito, who's been handing off jerseys and all the information for about 20 years. Legendary Rabbit Cake High did that for years. And so Ray's carrying on that tradition. As we see a nice, solid approach in the barrel from Rio Waida. Nice to open up with something when we hadn't had much for numbers. Dimity, what would you see here? A really nice start from him. Look how technical he is. He's so good at backhand tube riding. And as you know, there's so many amazing left-hand barrels in, in Indo. And um, I did a trip with him at G-Land, and it was just the two of us in the water. So I got to watch him nice and close up, and it was, yeah, I, I was trying to learn as much as I could. He's going to have to start lowering his standards just a little bit. Here comes Sammy Pupo, made a CT final last year. There's a big extended float. Nice clean wrap. Sam Wells is going to just tap it shut over almost dry reef. Nice control for Pupo, getting his best score so far in the matchup. He's much bigger than his brother, Miguel, uh, and it really helps him with those power turns. Um, uh, a couple of nice little maneuvers here. I think it's exactly what we were just talking about. He's just trying to get on the board, even if it's a three. Um, he's uh, realizing that, hey, this is a little grindy right now, and he's halfway through. Yeah, I like what you said, Ross, when he's definitely looking a lot stronger, and um, I think he looks up to Felipe so much, and he's probably just seen what that did to Felipe's surfing. Now live on WorldSurfLeague.com and also YouTube as we watch Matty McGillivray Throw down a big first turn, trying to sneak in a second and finishing move. He loves dropping out of the sky, out of airplanes, and also out of big lip sections over a shallow reef, incomplete. She had one of the worst seasons of her career and then comes out with a world title. But on the day, her rail surfing was just unstoppable. And the momentum was something else that, she, that Carissa couldn't compete with. You know, like as soon as Steph won that first heat and... I think she won it in the last minute or something. It's going to be a great heat um, and uh, also, you know, potentially a great little rivalry between the two Hawaiians with uh, oh, yeah. Carissa and Betty Lou. So um, that I know um, Sakura will be trying to grab some energy from the, from that little uh, fresh rivalry there. And, and she has so much respect for Carissa because she's just a hammer. Uh, what a great person to look up to. Uh, see a little paddle here. Let's see if uh, Matthew goes. He's going to pull the trigger. McGill of Ray. Throws down a big first turn again, reaching for the float. Two-turn combination turns it into a third with that whip. One of the best in the world at it. Nice little execution here from Matthew, but pretty small wave. Then that's going to hurt him a bit for the score. Judges don't like small wave. And now checking out the right, running down the line with Rio Waida. The Indonesian coils up, belts a thick section there. Taps the top to get the finish. Well read wave for White as He's going to back up a 4.33. And, and then this way is a little bigger. Oh, look at this. I love the way he just held off for a second just to jam that turn in the perfect position. And that's, a, that's just showing that he's focused in this heat and he's not overthinking things. He's timed that wave perfectly. Yeah, Joe, I, I like it. I know these are just floaters, kind of float hits, but... That's what this wave called for. It was fast. It was, you know, top to bottom. Super hard today. His son Gavin working in Courtney Conlog's corner for this event. As we get back into some action, Sammy Pupo celebrates a finish to get rid of the one, but ultimately trying to avoid the elimination round. We'll see if he did enough there. Let's pick this wave apart and see if he's done it. A little late to that barrel, uh, so not a huge points, but that was a pretty critical section there where he nailed it. It's real borderline. I, I can't see it straight away. I don't know what your thoughts are, Jim. And you can see we've run out of time, and whenever it takes a few minutes, you know they're looking at replays and drawing on those comparisons. We've got one judge saying no at a 3-2. We average it out, dropping the high and the low, and it comes out at just enough. Sammy Pupo does move to second on the last wave, a 3.5 on the decision, and McGillivray will have to deal with the elimination round. Rookie, Rio Waida, picks up his first heat win full-time on the championship tour.